Hello everyone. It's Thursday, August the 6th, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to read a little bit today from the book of Mark, and I'd like to kind of on again, off again, do some sermons on parables and maybe have some discussions with some of you by email or if you want to Zoom or give me a call or we can talk um, uh, after church if you're feeling comfortable coming to church. I'm going to read today from Mark chapter 4. And I'm going to start at verse 21, and this is about the lamp. This isn't exactly a parable, but this is preparing us for the parable of the mustard seed. And so I'm going to start at, at um, verse 21, because this is setting us up for the parable of the mustard seed. And Jesus is saying, uh, listen carefully or um, consider... Consider what you're about to hear. Think about it carefully, because uh, as you begin to be able to see, uh, see and hear what is being said and be able to interpret some of these parables, uh, new vistas of meaning can open to you. And I also want to say, uh, uh, Frederick Buechner said, a parable is a small story with a, with a very large point. And I think he's exactly right. Let's listen to this. So he starts out in verse 21. He said to them, do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand for whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. I to kind of pause to there. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, although he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the, in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest is come. Again, he said, continuing on in verse 30, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest seed you plant in the ground. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the birds of the air can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke, to the, spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Um, so he said a parable is a, is a small story uh, but it has a big point. And I want to say that parables are, are things that we've struggled with. People, different people have different interpretations of the same parable. And you, can, and you can, I think, legitimately have a whole range of meanings to a parable. I think some we would look at and say, uh, some interpretations we might look at and say, no, uh, that seems to go against the grain of everything that Jesus taught. For instance, there's a certain sort of branch of Christianity that uh, lives in great fear of the coming wrath of God and uh, interprets a lot of parables in that. I don't think we, in that light, I don't think we see or hear anything here um, in this particular parable, at least. What, what we seem to have here is sort of a, uh, a neat agricultural loving God for whom time has slowed down or who's trying to tell us uh, perhaps that things take time. I want to ask you just a couple of questions as we get ready for Sunday, whether you're going to come to church or maybe watch this online. Uh, what, role, what role does the man who scatters the seed play in the whole story? Is it an important role? Um, 
it, it, it seems to be something of an essential role, but what role does the man who scatters the seed play? Uh, and um, what, what is he able to control once the seed is planted? Does he have any role in things growing? And if not, what, is, what do you think Jesus' message is about that? About when the seed is scattered, what, uh, what do you think uh, his control or lack of control over the growth process means? When he says he puts the sickle to it, there are a lot of things that maybe you can think about. If we remember uh, in an earlier parable just a few verses ago, the man who scatters the seed is scattering the word of God, uh, going out and making disciples. And here he says he puts the sickle to it. It also could mean he sends the sickle out because the harvest is ready. Um, also, when we think about the mustard seed, what are some different interpretations that maybe you can come up with? We start with something very tiny and we're told that the kingdom of God is like this tiny thing. And this tiny, tiny thing over time blows up into this giant bush. So large, in fact, that birds from all over the place come and rest in its branches or get shade from its branches, however you want to interpret the Greek here. What are some of the messages that this tiny thing starts tiny and eventually grows really, really large? I can think of and I have read perhaps 20 different things. So I would just encourage you if you, if you have some time and you want to do this, what are some of the things that you think Jesus might be talking about when he says that the kingdom of God is like this tiny, tiny, tiny little thing that when it falls into the ground and sprouts and grows, it grows into something really, really big. So I'm looking forward to talking with you about this on Sunday, either in person or online. And shoot me an email, charlie at kmccparma.com if you've got some thoughts or respond on the YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.